Hello, hi, and welcome to this episode of the Mandy Mayer podcast. As per usual, this is a podcast where we chat all about your health, your fitness, your goals, you achieving those goals, and me just giving you a bit of advice, some tips, some strategies to help you achieve those goals. All I ask in return, if you have not yet, please drop a five-star rating and if possible, where possible, if you can leave a written review of this podcast, I will absolutely appreciate that. Let's get into today's episode. How to reduce food cravings when you are on a fat loss expedition. So when you are eating in a calorie deficit with a goal being fat loss, how do you reduce those cravings? I'm going to touch on some things that you can start implementing that aren't necessarily food or nutrition related. They might be, but they're not the general or the other sort of advice that I have given on my last YouTube video of eat more protein, eat more fiber, eat three meals per day, and don't skip your meals. Because of course, those are all super beneficial and they can really, really help when it comes to reducing your hunger, when it comes to reducing your cravings and anything else like that. But I wanna to touch on a couple of other things and take it a little bit further that will also help you reduce those cravings. So of course it goes without saying, I want you to look at starting to implement three meals per day. I also want you to look at starting to increase your protein intake as well as your fiber intake, because all of that is going to help with reducing your hunger and reducing your cravings. If you have not yet, you can watch my last, actually my latest YouTube video, because that's exactly what I chatted about in detail. But the other little tips, advice, and whatever you want to call it, strategies, that I want to chat about are the following. Number one, if you are constantly thinking about food and those thoughts, those constant thoughts are the things that are, or the thoughts that are leading you to crave certain foods or just crave food in general, okay, what I would suggest that you have a look at is have a look at the food accounts that you are following online or even take it a step further and have a look at the health and fat loss accounts that share loads and loads and loads of recipes and ask yourself is that potentially causing unnecessary cravings now this is not me saying don't follow anyone that shares recipes if you are following accounts that share lots of recipes that say align with your goals or that you really draw inspiration from or that you actually use and you use the recipes to add to your nutritional plan, then I don't foresee that being a problem. But a lot of the times the cravings stem from accounts that or yeah, accounts that are sharing, I want to say loads of fun foods or they're sharing food left, right and center that might not necessarily align with your goals. You'd need to figure out where you are with that and if the accounts that you are following are more triggering than what they are inspirational. Number two and this goes without saying and it's something that I chat about on a very regular basis is if you are constantly craving food or you are constantly ravenous stop restricting foods and stop restricting your calories. Okay now again only you will know what level of restriction you are currently on. If you're restricting all your favorite fun foods what do you think is going to happen? You're going to start craving Having those foods because you're no longer having them or if you only eat in 500 or 600 calories per day what do you think is going to happen you're going to get hungry you're going to start craving food because why because like I just said you are bloody hungry so it's only normal to start craving food if you're not eating a lot of food aka if you're restricting calories and if you're restricting your fun foods number three if you are constantly craving certain foods or fun foods foods, if you have any of those foods around you where you can visibly, like they are visible and you can see them on a constant or consistent basis, try and clean up that environment a little bit. Try and remove temptations where you can. Where possible, try and remove those temptations. I know it's not always easy, but again, it is something that you need to be willing to change if 
possible because if you are constantly surrounded by fun foods, the cravings are going to be there because it is so tempting. The temptation level is like 100% because it's within arm's reach, okay? But the moment you remove those temptations, you basically are in control and you're like, okay, either I have to go get those fun foods or in this moment you can potentially say no. Whereas if they're right there in your environment, it makes it a lot more difficult to say no. Number four, and I know this might sound silly, but try and make a weekly meal plan for yourself. Even if you just put pen to paper and you jot down what you intend to eat for your meals for the week, that's going to help a lot of that constant thinking about food. Because now at every single meal, you're not necessarily going to be thinking, what am I going to eat right now? What is the next thing that I am going to eat? Because you've put pen to paper and you've actually plotted out a meal plan for yourself. So that reduces a lot of the thought processing or the thoughts behind food on a constant basis. And oftentimes when you take those thoughts, you put it to paper and you're like, cool, there it is. You tend to think about it a little bit less. And the moment you tend to think about it a little bit less, because now it's already planned out, you then often remove or reduce, let's use the word reduce those cravings because food is not constantly on your mind because you don't have to constantly think about what the next meal is. And number five sort of goes, I want to say, hand in hand with number four of having the plan or the meal plan. Number five is try not go to the shop every single day. Understand that you have to or you might have to if you've got a lot of different things to do or if you've got stuff for the kids that you need to go get. But if possible, where possible, try and do a bit of a bulk shop on a Sunday, for example. You go into the shop, you get what was on your plan that you've written down and you bring that home and that will reduce the trips to the shop. And you know what happens when you're not going to the shop so much? You're not surrounded by all the temptations. You're not constantly seeing that chocolate owl. You're not constantly walking down the aisle with the fresh bread that you can smell a mile away because now you're limiting your time in the shops. And when you're not surrounded by all of those things, the cravings tend to become a little bit less. And I think it goes without saying on this topic is try not go to the shop when you are hungry because then you're just going to be craving absolutely everything and absolutely everything might just land up in your basket. I mean, I've been there before and it still happens till this day. I'm just at the point now where I do try and eat before I go to the shop so I don't go to the shop ravenous. Now, I know that these five things that I mentioned now might sound bloody minuscule and it might sound like, well, what's the point of actually doing those small little things because it's not really going to help. But if you're constantly fighting cravings or you're constantly thinking about food and that leads to you wanting to eat more even when you are not hungry, I would strongly suggest that you do try and implement one or two of these five things that I have chatted about because I know that I have implemented all five of them actually and I know just how much they do work even though they do seem quite small. Okay, so again, like I said in the beginning of this episode, yes, there's big things that you can do, eating your meals regularly throughout the day, increasing your protein intake, increasing your fiber intake. That is all going to increase the volume of the foods that you are having. That's really going to help keep you full throughout the day, which is going to reduce that hunger and ultimately going to reduce cravings as well. But when you start adding those small little things here and there, that's really, really going to help as well. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you like I usually do. Keep smiling, keep laughing, and keep being kind to one another. Much love, your friend who always says the small things matter, Mandy. <laughs>